So for years I've been using the Dell UltraShop 24 inch monitor. It's a 1080p monitor and it's worked for me really good over these last couple of years. It's got 99% RGB, sRGB, and it worked and served all the purposes that I needed it for. However, BenQ had an awesome monitor that I had my eye set on for a while. So I reached out to them. They let me borrow one for a few months to test it out and run it through its paces. And let me tell you, it's an amazing monitor. Let's check out the BenQ PD2700U. The PD2700 is a 4K monitor, it's HDR capable, 100% Rec. 709, 100% sRGB, a 10-bit monitor, 27-inch IPS, and 178-degree viewing angle. You can see the differences here between the 24-inch on the left-hand side, which is the Dell, and the 27-inch for the BenQ. Now, to watch 4K footage on a 4K monitor, especially this monitor, is absolutely beautiful. Everything is extremely detailed, the contrast is perfect, and it's definitely something that you have to see to really enjoy. The monitor is entirely adjustable. You can slide it up and down, you can raise the height if you need to, you can tilt it back, tilt it forward if you have to adjust the viewing angle, you can rotate it 45 degrees both left and right, and not only that, you can tilt it forward and then rotate it so that you now you have a vertical viewing. And this is good when you're reading either emails or you're reading certain documents or maybe reference manuals, something along those lines. So first you have Rec. 709, which is the standard for high definition television broadcast. As mentioned, it's also HDR capable and we're going to address how you set that up in a moment. You have sRGB, which is great for putting stuff on YouTube or for exporting photos, especially if you're trying to put them on the web. There's a CAD CAM mode. And again, we're going to discuss that in just a moment, but it's set up for that type of work. Animation mode, which is sort of self-explanatory, which brightens the dark areas. We'll explain that more in a few. Low blue light, similar to what you probably have on your cell phone, where it lowers the blue light to avoid eye strain and then darkroom, sort of self-explanatory, of course, for darkroom environments. One of the cool features of this monitor is the dual view mode. So basically, if you go into picture advanced, that part of the menu, you will have your default setting on your left-hand side and a separate picture mode on the right-hand side. So here you can see it's probably not the best footage, it's S-Log3 footage, but we have a regular sRGB on the left-hand side, and then on the right, we have the low blue light. So you can see how it has a little bit more of a warm orange push. I have Blender open here. So let's go ahead and head into the menu. I'm going to go down into the CAD cam mode. And you'll notice that it adds a lot more contrast and makes things easier to see. And here we're using the dual view in a more practical sense. We have the CAD cam on the left hand side and animation on the right. The left adding more contrast and on the right, again, it's brightening those shadows, which makes editing those details a lot easier to do. So let's quickly go into the animation portion. You'll notice that you can adjust the brightness of that area. So what I'll do here is lower it down a little bit. You'll notice that it doesn't touch the highlights, but the darker areas, it will brighten up, which is good because you're not just brightening the monitor itself. You're actually focusing on the specific areas that you need to see better. Now, of course, being a 4K monitor, I love using this with DaVinci Resolve. It gives you a lot more real estate and you can have everything on the screen. Of course, you can have everything on the screen on just a 1080p monitor, but as mentioned, you have a lot more real estate. You can have a lot more things open. You can view your footage in a bigger screen and just having a 27 inch monitor and at the 4K resolution has really improved my workflow over these last few months, especially if you're working with 4K footage. The Dell monitor that I've been using was calibrated at the manufacturer and it has a Delta E of less than two, which is extremely good. The lower that number, the better it is. I'll put up an explanation on the screen so that it makes a little bit more sense. But suffice it to say, the lower the number, the more color accurate that it is. BenQ actually provides a printout with their monitors and this particular monitor has an average Delta E of 0.334 
which of course is well below 2, which means this monitor is extremely color accurate. As far as inputs go, you have an HDMI in, you have a display port in, a mini display port in, and then you have a display port out. There's a headphone input, which of course you could use for headphones, or you could use for speakers if you wanted to do that, even though the monitor itself has its own speakers. It also has six USB 3.0 ports, two upstream and four downstream. And the four downstream you can plug things into. For example, if you wanted to plug the mouse into the monitor instead of the computer, you could do that. I've used one to plug in my DaVinci Resolve dongle. One thing that I didn't demonstrate here, which is another cool feature of this monitor, is something they call the KVM switch, which is basically keyboard, mouse, and video. You can have two computers hooked up to the same monitor using one keyboard and mouse, which is great if you have, let's say, a laptop and you have a desktop computer. You want to put those into the same monitor you can and you can display them right on the screen and then this way you can switch between the two without having you know obviously to disconnect the cables plug it back in it just speeds up your workflow because this way you're not having to disconnect everything reconnect it and spending time doing that now this isn't an ultra wide and it's not a curved screen but it has something called multi-stream transport so basically you can display your screen across multiple screens and that way you can get the wider view that you're looking for. The other thing I wanted to mention is that this is a 4K 60 Hertz screen. So if you're into gaming and things like that, this may not be the best for what you need it for. Of course, that doesn't mean that you can't play games on this. It's just that a lot of gamers do prefer the higher frame rate models. Now, even if you were to choose the HDR option within the monitor itself, you still have to have the operating system show HDR also. So the way that you do that in Windows is you right click on the desktop, you go to display, you choose the Windows HD color option, you choose the BenQ monitor, and then you move the toggle switch that says play HDR games and apps. Now the cool thing is if you load HDR content on YouTube, it now will actually say HDR next to it. Normally it wouldn't, or if it's been changed to HDR and you still don't see that, go ahead and refresh the screen and right across the bottom it will say the resolution and HDR showing that you're actually viewing the HDR content now. Thanks for watching guys. If you do things like I do, like photo editing, video editing, color correction, 3D modeling, stuff like that, this is probably the best monitor you're going to get at the price point that it's at. I highly recommend it. I am not disappointed. I was looking at it for a while and I'm glad that I get a chance to test it out. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.